Hi, you with Mike Redding from Google Apps for edu.com. Today what I want to do is just show you two short tricks on how to interact with your Gmail to save you a lot of time. Now to access these features we need to switch on labs and we need to choose two labs in particular. So to access your Google Gmail lab then we just need to click on the settings button just over here on the cog and then click on settings. Now once we get into our settings we need to click on labs just here and the two that you want to enable are message sneak peek and preview pane just here. Now they won't be at the top for you if you haven't enabled them but every all your labs here are all in alphabetical order so just go and find those. So message sneak peek and preview pane. Once you've clicked enable for both of those make sure you save your changes and it will just reload your Gmail account for you with the new changes in place. You'll notice up here in the right hand corner of your page now there's a new button when you hover over it it says toggle split pane mode. Uh, you can There's several different modes that you can choose. You can choose your vertical split or your horizontal split. I'll just show you what both of those look like. Here's your horizontal split. If I click on an email it shows me the email underneath it. Uh, you can see the whole email in entirety and you can also click the reply and forward just down the bottom here as you normally would or you can use your buttons as per your normal Gmail usage. I'll just show you the vertical split, it just puts it to the side and there it is there for you. The other feature that you can use right inside Gmail is the sneak peek for Gmail. Now when you do this what you can do is you can right click on an email message and it will open up the email message for you here. You can see how many messages are in the thread just here. You can view the entire conversation thread here and it shows you the whole email in its entirety. Now the difference between these are that when you use message preview pane and you click on the email it actually changes it and says that the email has been read. If you use the sneak peek when you right click on it the email is marked as unread unless you want to click the mark as read button here. So just two ways to interact with your Gmail so that you can see what's in it and save yourself a lot of time and energy. So I hope that helps. If you'd like any other tips, feel free to head over at googleapps4edu.com and you will find lots of different resources there to help you out. Thanks for watching.